2000s internet was so different from internet of today. I feel like nowadays there are a lot more subcultures. You could find a group for pretty much anything. I feel like there's a lot more structure nowadays. And of course, a lot more big business. But early 2000s internet was definitely more of this Wild West online, you could say. And there was a very particular kind of weird and silly that dominated. Definitely the kind of stuff you'd see in Freakazoid. My favorite early viral video is one called the Demented Cartoon Movie. This is one I watched over and over and over again. I did rewatch tonight. Yeah, I still find it funny. I think half of it's the nostalgia, but the timing is still genuinely fun. It's essentially 30 minutes. Yes, 30 minutes with early 2000s internet of stick figures dying. It's pretty much it. And you got two stick figures in a chair reviewing. Boy, did that predict a trend. <laughs> a lot of explosions in that, too. I think I should spare you... I usually don't mind spoilers. And I always assume that if you're watching this video, then you know what I'm talking about, but... Eh, screw it. I'm just gonna go into spoilers. <laughs> I do think this is one... I'd be curious as to what the upcoming internet generation would think of these early viral videos. The really crude animation, the Numa Numa guy, Star Wars kid, although Star Wars kid had a sad story. I'd be so curious. <laughs> but for me, Demented Cartoon Movie was top of the top. It was on a website called Albino Black Sheep, which my family and I always called Red Barn so that our parents wouldn't block it. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I, yeah, I, that's where I watched all my viral weird videos. Newgrounds I didn't know of until only last year. Homestar Runner I definitely knew of too. Demented Cartoon Movie, I'm actually kind of curious as to how that was put together. I know it was Flash. But I'm wondering if early versions of, say, Premiere or Final Cut were available. That'd be interesting to learn. But overall, my favorite, my favorite arc, if you can call it that, is <laughs> the, the bomb, Ziggy Boogie Doog. Yep, too lazy to edit an explosion, just assume that one happens. <laughs> but essentially, every time you say the Ziggy word, there's an explosion, or the world blows up. <laughs> I also like the kamikaze watermelon. That's a ton of fun. I think I'm mostly just gonna be quoting lines here. <laughs> and my favorite line, of course, is, two stick figures are bored. I know, let's play toss the H-bomb. <laughs> it's a good game of catch. And uh, sadly, it's very, very dangerous in this world because in this world, there are blow up the world buttons hidden like landmines all over this world. Oh, the world is a QRBRL, QRRBRL, BEL news, something along those lines. <laughs> Hard to say. I'm actually impressed at how quick and how. Yeah, essentially, just how quick and how. Perfect. <laughs> I don't want to say perfect because it is so over the top, but the timing of it is still fun to watch. It definitely feels like the violence of a Looney Tunes special, but the insanity of Freakazoid <laughs> in one hilariously what the fuck 30 minutes. Still a personal favorite. I'm curious to know what other people think of it. Kamikaze Watermelon.